Hi, I'm Lifestyle Gardener, and there's a few house plants that I'd like to show you guys that I growed in Ontario in my apartment. I'm using Jamaicans' names. I don't know what they call them in the other world, in the other countries, but this is a name I know them as. And I was showing this video to my family during the pandemic, so keep that in mind. Also, these are not regular house plants. These are trees. You're not supposed to grow them indoors, but I did it anyways. You know me. Hello, everyone. Oh, I hope everybody's keeping well during this time. Um, I just came here to, to show you guys my plants that I displayed like this um i think two weeks ago or three weeks ago i displayed them like this to have something beautiful to look at during this time this plant right here is my soul sap plant that I plant from seed um I think three three years ago I prune it back two times so that's why it's not as tall right now and this plant was in my bedroom the most sunniest area my bedroom and this plant right here is my avocado plant I never prune it back I actually just remove the leaves more than several times but recent oh I have something else to show you and this is my tambourine plant that I plant from seed it's actually two years old I think or three years old actually three years old actually and then I recently I think recently I, I pruned it back like in the winter time just a little bit I just cut like a little bit of branch and all of this leaf you never had this leaf all of these leaves it was like very little amount of leaf about the size of my hand and it grows all of these branches and leaves since I prune it back oh yeah it's right here I, I cut I prune right here and uh right here I, I actually prune back I thought it was um dying but it survived since I prune it back and right here is my pineapple plant that I actually plant two years, almost two years or probably two years now. And I just got this plant, the, the bottom part here, I, I cut it off from a pineapple and I put it in water until it start to have roots. And then I leave it in there for a while and then I transplant it into a smaller container and then I transplant it again into a bigger container and then I transplant it again into this container the last container a uh, few days ago three days ago and I also did that too I transplant this my salsa plant um, three days ago too and my avocado and um tambourine plant uh three uh three days ago the reason why i don't put my plants in a bigger container right away because i did that once when i plant um from seed my lemon tree or lemon or tangerine one of them and it was the container was bigger and it actually died so I heard that when you're planting um, plants from outside, they're supposed to be growing outside, you shouldn't put them in a bigger 
container right away you should wait as it start to get bigger you you remove you put a bigger container and do it slowly actually i post a transplant my avocado and my tambran plant and my sauce up and the pineapple since last year fall but no time too busy working working but during this crisis i guess i have more time to do what i needed to do so that's what i did and since i did that i transplanted them three days ago they actually start to grow um bigger already you know you notice this time from from my sauce up and my avocado all the avocado so skinny and stuff like that and um my sauce up is bigger because i pruned i cut back the branches a lot like not a lot but like six, uh, several times on the avocado and then they produce more branches but i never did that yet with i mean sauce up they produce more branches but it, i never did uh prune my avocado plant i think uh once it get once it produce more leaves more branches going upwards then i might um cut it back so that it can produce more branches across at the sides i'm gonna try to do that and see if that will happen but all of these leaves my avocado plant had uh, my avocado plant had all of these leaves had leaves like that and i removed the leaves because they're starting to turn brown like these and the avocado leaves is um it's really good anytime i have a, a toothache or something like that uh i'll just cut one remove one of these branches and it and make a tea with it boil it for 10 minutes cut it up make, make a tea boil it for 10 minutes and my pain will go away uh within half an hour 20 minutes so it's a natural pain reliever there's actually other health benefits with it you guys know that uh sauce up leaves are also there are a lot of health benefits with it too um when i remove the leaves when i prune it I, I don't throw the leaves i make tea with it i keep it and um i heard that there's health benefits too with the um tambran tree i heard that the, with the leaves there's health benefits with it i am not too sure what it is yet but i i heard that some people actually use it in cooking they, they cook the leaves um which is really interesting but these are plants that i'm growing it is it's just a, it's right now it's just a hobby and because i know that there's health benefits with the leaves it's good to have um natural solution for health benefits with that one and there's other other plants plants that i actually want to grow from seed which now i think is even more important now anyways i just want to show you guys this video to inspire you to to try to find some sort of hobby that you like and to just try to keep busy and keep your mind um positive as much as possible and um i think i might get fruit from my pineapple plant um this year sometime this year because it's two years old and i heard that after two years old it's going to produce a fruit and then it's gonna um, produce other baby plants and then after it start producing fruits every um every year we start producing fruits and then every six months and every four months so we'll have baby plants and um baby fruit bye you guys have a good day